Hello everyone, welcome to Double Click Academy, your ultimate computer online lessons. Today, we are going to look at QuickBooks. Most of our customers want to learn great steps in opening a QuickBooks company. But before we continue, please click on the subscription bell. And if you have any comment, click on the comment box and send us your comment. So if you're done with that, we can start with our topic of the day. Now, how do we start opening up a QuickBooks a company? Now, a QuickBooks, we know QuickBooks is an app that helps us to keep our records, financial records, basically. And uh, you can manage your customers, manage your vendors, and manage even your stock or inventory. Now, we are going to start straight away with the opening a company. Now, there are several types of icons for QuickBooks depending on the version. Now, this version we are using, we are using version 18. And in version 18, this is the icon we have. It's uh, green in color. In other versions, you will realize that you will have uh, different colors, like blue color for version 13 and so forth. So, provided you know the icon you want, so this is the one we want, QuickBooks. So, we start opening a company, we can either start by creating our own folders to manage the company account or we can just proceed and we shall create the a folder later so we can use the letter we are now going to double click on this icon when we double click the icon it will now start opening up the company so it takes a little bit some few seconds or a minute or so for it to open and uh, it is trying to open after you've double clicked now there it's opening trying to welcome you opening quickbooks desktop so you realize we are using quickbooks desktop quickbook desktop doesn't use the data or internet then there is a quickbooks online that is the one that uses data so it's trying to open it's taking a little bit longer to open and then there we are with our quickbooks icon now it's opening the quickbooks icon and there they are telling you no company open. Then inside we have XL Company Limited, we have UCC Soroti Limited, Babylon, and so forth. So, so you realize those are already existing companies open in this computer. But we are not interested in that, in opening the existing companies. But if you wanted to open an existing company, you just click on the company and come to open, it will open. Now for us, we are interested in creating a new company, which is the first option here. There is also open or restore an existing company, which is the same as app. Then we have open the sample file. The sample file is, is a company that is already in a QuickBooks, that is already created by QuickBooks. We are not interested in that. Our interest is on create a new company. So we shall click on create a new company here. Then it will give us now the interview guide for us to fill in. Now, this is, this is what we are having now here. Then under opening a new company, we have two options. There is a first option that is Express Start. Then we have Detail Start. Now, when you look at Express Start, Express Start is basically a shortcut form of opening a company. It doesn't have so many steps for you to, to answer or to fill in. But Detail Start has those so many details that is needed. So we can straight away go to Detail Start. So when we click on detail start, it gives us an easy step or guide that we are going to answer some few questions. And when you look at this, you realize there are these, some of these options that have this red star, which we are calling asterisk. Now, the red stars, these are the must. That's why from down here, you're told required field. Wherever there is a red star, it means it's a required field. It's a must field. You can't proceed without answering it. So here, we can now put the company name. Now, assuming the company name is Double Click Academy, so here we can put Double Click Academy. Double Click Academy. Now, that is the company name. Obviously, the, the legal name could as well be the same, unless otherwise. But if it's the same, you can still type here as well Double Click Academy, which is the legal name of the company. Then we have the tax ID here. Assuming we have a tax ID for our business, we would fill it here. Then if we have the address, we can fill in the address here, which is uh, maybe assuming the address is uh, 
maybe PO box. PO box maybe 255 is the address. Then maybe you can also put uh, some other options here. For example, maybe a long, maybe a long Moroto, Moroto Road. So you can put it there. Then we name the city. Now assuming the city is Soroti, Soroti city, we can put here Soroti as a city. The state, state you've realized the state is applicable if maybe you're in the US or Canada. The zip code is not, Uganda, we don't have a zip code, but assuming it was a must, you just put maybe four zeros there. Then now we come to the country. The country, you have put US there, but we are not in the US, we are in Uganda. So we can put here maybe other. Uganda is not shown anywhere, so Uganda is part of the other countries. Then now we can also put the contact. Now, assuming there is a contact there, maybe we can put our contact. Assuming our contact is a Ugandan code 256, then we have 788 400, maybe 9, 938. Now, that is the code. If the fax is there, you can put the fax here as well. If the email is there, we can now put our email. Of course, our company has an email that is double click, double click academy at gmail at gmail.com. Now that is the the email. Now, if we have a website, we can put the website address here as well. The moment we don't have a website, our company doesn't have a website, so we can leave it. Then, when you're done filling all this, we shall now go to next. When you click on next, it now gives us a provision to select. Yeah, you're told here to select your industry. Uh, tell us your industry and we'll customize QuickBooks to work best for you. So by selecting an industry, you're making QuickBooks to customize the type of accounts that you're, you're most likely going to need in your transaction. So is it an accounting or bookkeeping business? Is it an advertising there are so many, you can scroll up to down. You realize you have those options there. Then now from here, we can now choose. But in most cases, you realize you might tend to, to get confused from here, maybe simply because the company, I mean the industry, is cross-cutting. Now, if that is the case, if it's cross-cutting, what we can do, we can basically come and choose the last two here. Either it's a general product-based business or general service-based business. A general product based business, these are businesses that deal with the products, the tangible products. Then we have uh, service based products, these are products, I mean, these are service based businesses, these are businesses that deal with the services, the intangible. So, ours, assuming it's, uh, it deals with the products, we can click on products and we go to next. Now, when you go to next, now here they are asking, how is your company organized? Is a company a sole proprietorship? Is it a partnership? Is it a limited liability company? Is it a corporation? All these options. So you choose where your company belongs. Now, assuming it's a sole proprietorship here or a partnership, we can just click on it and we go to next. Now, after going to next, now here they are telling us to select the first month of your our physical year. Now, that is the first month when the business always starts its accounting period. Now, assuming the first month here is maybe, say, for example, maybe in, the, in the July, assuming our, like, Ugandan financial year ends in June, so understand starts in July. So we can put here July, then we go to the next. Now, here there is setting up your administrative password. Assuming you're interested in setting up the administrative password, so you can put the password. Of course, we know the advantages of having a password. It limits people from entering into your your company books so maybe we can say let our password be one two three assuming that then you're told to retype to confirm that you really mean what you mean by one two three we type it there then we say next now after putting next there they are telling us to create a company file then we come to next now when you click on next it means they will now take you to choose the folder remember earlier on we talked of either you create a folder at that very time or we can create a folder after at this stage now now since we took this option of creating a folder at this stage we can just now come to this then we make sure that from here we come and choose we want to put it in the desktop 
so we can just click on desktop here on your left from the desktop if you want to put it in any of the existing if you already created the the the, the if you already created it we can now go straight to this maybe assuming this is the folder we created but if you didn't create you can just right click anywhere and go to new then you create your folder but i want us to put it here so we can double click on this it opens up then we say we want to name it either we can leave the same name double click academy or you can change the name then we just come straight away to save now when you click on save it will take a little bit maybe from Saturday to one minute's time trying to load and creating a company file and uh, after that it will try to load until it will give you the results so it takes a little bit longer depending sometimes it can even take more than one minute so we can try to wait until it gives us the right results you want so you realize with that it has already captured all the other other things and uh, and uh, now there our company has reached to 50 percent loading and uh, it's 50 percent realize it's taking longer but we have to wait until it fully loads for us to proceed now uh -huh. now there is at 90 percent so read the 99 and there we are the company has been loaded what we do next is for us to now this is the preview of how your home page will look like it has already customized basing on your selections then we go to next now from next they're asking you what do you sell do you sell services only products only or both services and products so depending so we choose depending on our choice if it's products only we click on products only and we go to next then from here do you charge sales tax now if there is a, an option of sales tax we can say yes leave it as the way it is if there is not there we can say no then we go to next you want to create estimates in quickbooks if you're interested in creating estimates in most cases they are recommended is good for your business unless otherwise so we can just leave it the way it is then we go to next you track sales orders we can say yes you want to use billing statements in quickbooks we can still say yes then do you want to use progress invoicing they are saying maybe you want you can just click we are not saying recommended is always the the right one but you can change so you want to keep track bills which is okay you leave it the way it's yes you want to track inventory of course inventory is so key we can say yes and then we can do you want to track time maybe time is not necessary the dates are enough for you then do you have employees if you have employees you can choose if you have employees say yes then after saying yes we choose we have w2 employees we have contract employees w2 employees are full-time then now contractors so you choose do you have full-time you say yes or you have both you can click all of them and you go to next then now from here using accounts quickbooks now here they only telling you to set up your chart of accounts you'll need this what they have already told you can read this as well as you're creating and then after that you can just say yes next here there is no option you're choosing you only click next and then from here select a date to start tracking your finances remember the other time we said the first month is july now here they want you to choose what is that july of what is it beginning of this physical year which is july 1st of july to 2020 to 2022 if that is the case you just stick here but if that's not the case we can just decide to set our date from here now assuming it's a uh, from uh, maybe you, you can leave this but what is most recommended is for you to use this down on which is used today's day because this one it's only by coincidence that sometimes it's correct but it's better you come down here and you set your own date now assuming is uh, set the starting of your finances so you can just if it's july first you can just come to this which is the same date but i'm saying the first one in most cases is a, by coincidence that shows the right thing then we go to next now after coming to next now there is review income and expense expense accounts now this is where you can select the type of incomes and expenses that you'll be incurring 
If you know that there is going to be sales orders you click, if you know that you will not have freight and shipping cause you just untick. Those ones you want, you tick them. If they are already ticked, you leave them. Those that you don't want, you can untick them if they are already ticked until you select all that you want. But it is even obvious, you can even forego this, it can still do. After all, you will be creating your own as well. If you don't want to use the ones that QuickBooks has already created for you. So after that, we can now go to next. We click on next. And now when you click on next, now there you are. They are already congratulating you that you have completed the easy step interview. That is, that's now a step ahead to show you that you have already created the company. And then you just go to go to setup. Now from go to setup, you will now be in position to see what the preview could be of what is expected of you from your QuickBooks company account. Now there it is, and uh, it gives you these other browsers. It's just a welcoming notes for you. Get all the details into QuickBooks desktop. Now the details here, you might either do it them from here, or you just go straight and do it from the home page. Now what they mean by add the people you do business with here, they are basically talking about people you want to do business with, including the customers, the vendors, maybe your tracking employees. Those are people you do with, I mean, do business with. So you can come to add here. Then it will be in position to give you all that that you want to fill in. But we are not going to do it from here. We shall do it in the desktop. Then add the products and services you sell. You do the same thing. These are products and services you sell. These are now the actual products that you deal with. Then add your bank accounts here. These are the bank accounts you have, including even cash book. Cash book in QuickBooks is also recognized as a bank account. So after that, we now go to start working. Now, when you click on start working, it now brings you to your real QuickBooks. You have these other QuickBooks browser account, and these are just welcoming notes for you. But you can just read them and just close these pages. You can just read and close. Now, this is our company. Now, when you look at our company, our company is subdivided into several sections. We have the first one being the vendors. This is where we have all our custom, our, our suppliers from. Could be suppliers and even the tax authorities and all those people. Then we have customers here. Customers is where we have all the people whom we sell our products to. And whatever happens, we have it here. Then employees, this is all the section that keeps charge of the employees. Then now we have a company. You realize this company is more of what we have in the toolbar here, like the accountant, chart of accounts. You find chart of accounts is in accountants, company, and all that. Then banking, this is where we do all our banking services, where we receive the money and put in our bank accounts. So, so you realize basically that is what we have in our company. So the company is fully created. Now the next thing we have to do is to have time for our things. And that is that. So thank you.